Till about 550 million years ago, life on Earth is pretty simple. And then suddenly, and geologically speaking, in a very short period of time, uh, we see a huge explosion of body plans and types of animal appearing and lots of bizarre forms that are so different from modern animal life that they're very hard to interpret and to recognise. So we're here now in the Cedric Museum of Earth Sciences in Cambridge and we've walked all the way to the end of the museum to look at the earliest complex animal fossils. And when we look at these fossils we find a whole array of very unusual and weird things. And one of the weirdest, I think, has to be Hallucigenia, which is named for its dreamlike appearance. And scientists have found very difficult to know exactly what to do with this unusual spiny worm. So we noticed that it had pairs of really stiff spines running along one side of the organism and long, flexible appendages on its other side. And when this was described in the 1970s, it was reinterpreted walking on these long, stiff spines as if walking along pairs of stilts and using these flexible appendages that would have been on its back to pass food along the body to its enormous balloon-shaped head. This is, yeah, this is quite a weird um, reconstruction, a very bizarre animal and not something that we have any modern analogue for today. So, more recently, researchers thought, well, let's go back to Hallucigenia and they got a dental drill and chipped away at the mud and found hidden underneath the rock a second half of the pair of legs. So the original idea of hallucigenia was completely the wrong way up. Hallucigenia suddenly looked a little bit more normal, but still not the kind of thing you'd expect to find floating around an aquarium. So hallucigenia has got a long and checkered history of reinterpretation. And even a hundred years after it was first discovered, there's still a lot that we didn't understand. Which end was its head, which end was its tail? So to try and shed a bit more light on this perpetually elusive organism, we tried putting it into an electron microscope to see what new observations we might be able to yield. So I did most of the work on the original specimens, which are in the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto, but I do have a couple of casts of the material upstairs. So what we have here is a cast of one of the hallucigenia fossils that I've been studying. And you can see it's much smaller than you might expect. It's maybe a centimetre long, a millimetre across, and you can just make out its little spines, its legs, um, and its body running along the middle. Before our study, we knew which way up hallucigenia was. We knew it had legs on the bottom, spines on the top. We didn't really know which end was its head and which end was its tail. And there was still this idea that there was this balloon-shaped head at one end. And actually, when we looked carefully at the fossils, we realised that this wasn't a head, this wasn't part of the animal, but it was a stain uh, representing decay fluids that had been squeezed out of one end of the gut of the animal during the fossilisation and burial process. So, in fact, we were looking at the tail end of the organism, not the head, and the head was to be found at the other side. When we put them in the microscope, we moved over towards one end where we thought the head might be, uh, hoping to find a pair of eyes. And when we got to the head, we saw not just a pair of eyes, but there was this almighty grin underneath them, this large sort of semicircular smile that we just hadn't been expecting at all. With the new description, we can imagine hallucigenia looking a bit like a caterpillar, but with really long, flimsy, extensible legs and these pairs of conical spines running along its back. So it sort of looks like a twig with loads of sticks coming out of it all the way along. I think the thing I love about hallucigenia is how it's so good at keeping secrets and <laughs> revealing them one at a time. There's, there's so much that it's revealed over the time and each time you think, okay, we're kind of getting the hang of it, there's another surprise up its sleeve somewhere. <laughs>